Be clear. Be clear. What I mean about be clear is this. I need to be crystal clear on what the church's teaching is in this regard. I need to be crystal clear on what the church's teaching is in this regard. And I need to be crystal clear on why the church teaches what she teaches in this regard. Here's why. Here's why I need to be clear. Because if I'm not clear, if, I'm not, if I don't fully understand, a number of things are going to happen. If I'm not clear, I will end up being brittle where I could be flexible. If I don't know really what the church teaches, I'm going to make up all these rules that I, I bet it's probably against church teaching for X, Y, and Z. If I don't know why the church teaches it, I will end up make up all these rules in my head of like, here's where I can't go, here's what I can do. For example, when it comes to being clear, why did I say, why would I say that it's against our faith to attend a same-sex wedding? Well, because of this. Because we believe that a wedding is not something, something, something people simply watch. Because you never watch Mass. You don't just go to Mass and watch Mass. You're an active participant in Mass. If you show up at a Mass, you are participating in the Mass. If you show up at a wedding, you are a, not just watching the wedding. You're a witness to the wedding. You're participating in the wedding. You're not just a passive observer. We believe, our, kind of our theology is, you're a part of that event. You're not just watching, you're a witness. And so you're like, no, no, I, I'm against it personally, but I want to be there to support them. So if you show up, what you'd have to do, I want to make it clear, I'm not, I'm, I'm not here to, to endorse what you're doing, but I want to support Judy and Jane. If you really want to do that, that would mean you have to show up and then to let everyone know why you're there and what you're opposed to. And that's just rude. That's not good manners. <laughs> Going to everyone, hi, I'm here for Judy because I like her a lot, but I don't endorse her wedding with Jill. Like, what? no, don't do that. Rather than, here's the thing, why would I not be allowed to attend a same-sex wedding? Because weddings you witness, you're a part of it actively. So Father, can I go to the reception afterwards? It's a prudential decision, but there are some cases when you could say, yeah, I would, I would do that. It's a prudential decision. How is it different? Well, unless I know the difference between the wedding and the reception, <laughs> unless I'm clear, be clear, remember? Unless I'm clear on the difference between a wedding and a wedding reception, I will not be able to know the difference here. But if I do know the difference, then I can say, there are some cases when it might be permissible to go to a wedding reception. I have a, I have a brother priest, and his sister uh, had a same-sex wedding. And the whole family, they're very devout Catholic, and they're like, we can't go to the wedding, but they're like, but we're going to go to the reception because we know it's important to you. We're going to go to the reception, and here we are, here for you, because it's a big day for you. You know, by our absence at the wedding, where we stand. So we don't have to make a big deal about it now that we're here at the reception, because we're just here because we love our daughter, because we love our sister. That's not the same thing as endorsing and witnessing the wedding, but unless I'm clear, I will be brittle where I could possibly be flexible. I don't know if that makes sense, but here's where it gets kind of muddy. But again, let's go back. It's all going to be common sense. It's all going to be common sense when it comes down to it, right, right here. So I need to be clear. I need to know the what and the why. 